Well, it's, it's finally here, the, the day we've all been waiting for. Uh, opening ceremonies day, the start of the Paralympics, the start of, of what we've worked so hard for. Uh, the last you know, the last week or so, I guess, that we've been here uh, has been fantastic in the village, settling in, getting into a routine, practicing in the facilities. But but now it's it starts, now it's where it all begins. And tonight were the opening ceremonies, unfortunately, we as a team were unable to attend as we play at 9.30 tomorrow morning against Great Britain. So we stayed here in the village and we, we wore the outfits and we got all dressed up and we watched. Uh, we actually went down and we saw the team off, the rest of the Canadian team off, and then we stayed and watched the game on the projector downstairs in our, our nice Canadian space downstairs. Some of the other athletes were also unable to ten attend, swimmers and, and track and field athletes. Uh, as a program, they, they stayed too, so well, there were quite a, quite a few of us there, and I'll tag the, the video from that on to the end of this and so you get a feel for that, but it was neat to be able to share it with, with some of the Canadian team at least, and also just to share it with our teammates. It's very special. Today, we had a, a sort of a final day preparation leading into our game tomorrow. We had a game plan meeting. We talked about Great Britain. We watched video uh, prepared for them specifically as a team. And earlier in the morning, we had our last book club meeting. Uh, book club is something that we've done for the last couple of major events. We find a book that is relevant to things that we want to talk about and things that we want to learn. And we read the book. Each member of the team reads the book. And then we divide the chapters up and we discuss it as a team. And this year's book was Robin Benacasso's How Winning Works. And I actually read it four years ago, uh, shortly after London. And it was a fantastic read. So I was very excited when our sports psychologists recommended it to us this year. We also had a great talk from one of our, our veteran athletes. She, uh, she talked to us about you know, the feelings going into a game like this. and. She's been to seven Paralympics. This is her seventh Paralympics, so she's, she's very experienced and, and she spoke very well and shared some really fantastic thoughts. We also shared a few, a few thoughts from home. As you can see the banner behind me, we have um, Juice has received lots of texts and messages and this banner in particular uh, quotes and messages from her family that she brought with her that we have hanging here in our apartment. And my parents sent me a message and it said, Dear Janet, it's almost time to put your skills to the test. Opening ceremony is tomorrow. Dad and I will be thinking of you, watching every game, and right with you in spirit. I hope you can relax and enjoy the excitement of competing at the highest level. You have worked very hard to get to this point, and trying to do your best is all you can ask of yourself. Dad and I wish you and the team the very best of luck in your games. Love, Mom. So that was a, a very special message for me, and it... Uh, it really helps put things in perspective. At this point in the tournament, sometimes the nerves build up a little bit and it's easy to be distracted. But in the end, it's just basketball and tomorrow we just have to go out there and, and do our very best. Silver from Beijing 2000. The Chef de Michel for Canada is one of the greatest of all time, Chantal Petitier, the most decorated female track Paralympian of all time. She has 14 gold and she's actually set to be inducted into the IPC Hall of Fame at these games. Before her last game to Beijing 2008, she went from a really good team of 54 track title from 100 metres to 1,500 metres. Oh, it will record. 